We're standing behind an elite prom bar, uh, the result of a collaboration between architectural practice uh, Karma de Grork and wallpaper handmade. This piece of architecture is inspired by El Lisitsky, uh, a multifaceted uh, artist, uh, a, an uber uh, inventor, a key figure of Russian avant-garde of the beginning of the 20th century, and a devoted disciple of Kazimir Malevich. And Lisitsky's uh, creative path and uh, his theories would serve as uh, a trampoline uh, for a discussion today with uh, Kevin Carmody from uh, Carmody Grog and Tony Chambers of uh, Wallpaper. So Tony, how would you uh, qualify the, the legacy of El Lisitsky for global contemporary culture? For me, Without exaggeration, Lasitsky is the most important influence on contemporary culture because he covered so many areas at a crucial time in the early parts of the 20th century. So from painting to architecture to graphic design, typography, product design, exhibition design, he did all these things with consummate skill, creativity and modernity. And who was influenced directly? Directly, I mean, you can see Zaha, you can see the work directly. Uh, Libskind, uh, Ron Arad, um, I mean many, many designers, many artists in graphic design, Neville Brody. Probably the most significant uh, uh, project that made Lisitsky world famous is Prawn. Uh, it's a complex uh, artistic system that would translate suprematism into three-dimensional forms. Uh, and actually Prawn uh, stands for Project for the Affirmation of the New in Russian. And, and Prawns were conceived as uh, prototypes of the architecture of the future. And uh, Kevin, how direct was your particular interpretation of Prawn ideology for this installation? And uh, uh, and, and how have you translated it in terms of the choice of forms and materials? Sure. Well, I think the starting point of a marquette is a really lovely common ground to the ideas, isn't it? Um, we're thinking about um, this like a building, actually, not like a bar. It's a scale model as a representation. We're architects and we're thinking about how these temporary projects, um, a project for a bar, of, could start to test formal, compositional, even material ideas for, for architecture in the city. So we see a cluster of, of um, compositional forms that are grouped together, um, making a relationship to each other and to the visitor. It's really interesting how the, the aluminium material of the project holds light and actually holds even the colour, the atmosphere of its context. So it's almost absorbing the room it's in. It's reflecting the light of everything you put around it and somehow that's quite an atmospheric thing for, for the experience of, of, of the, the, the exhibition but also um, potentially the event, the opening um, party. And which, including the beautiful um, constructivist inspired uh, yes. bottle of elite. Exactly. So, so all the, these things all work together. I think it's between composition, form, um, material and, and of course purpose and place. Which, which is a very Lisitsky's uh, idea. And actually, uh, I wanted um, to say that, first of all, Wallpaper Handmade is part of Salone del Mobile, uh, a design exhibition. And so in this regard, we cannot omit mentioning that uh, El Lisitsky uh, contributed a lot into the uh, creation of uh, exhibition design as uh, a sphere, as a field uh, for its own right. And in connection to, uh, to his first exhibition, he once famously proclaimed a little bit what you said, uh, uh, Kevin, that space must be for people and not the human being for the space. And so in your opinion, how visionary this statement is and, and don't you think that uh, oftentimes uh, designers and architects uh, kind of forget about this uh, principle in uh, reality? As you said, Lasitsky again was a pioneer in exhibition design. So change the way exhibitions can be mounted, can be viewed, can be interacted with. I mean, really, technologically and aesthetically, he did things which, I mean, st would still seem revolutionary now in, th in the ways you mentioned in terms of rotating platforms, interactive things and dynamic things, bringing things to life. And so it's another area where he's really inspired us and inspired this, e this exhibition, it's now in its ninth year, The Handmaid, um, where we are putting together such a disparate 
number and type of objects. So you look around this room, there's every field of art, design and architecture and fashion and lifestyle embodied in this whole exhibition. And that's a terribly difficult thing to put all these things together and still make it feel harmonious. And the reason I think it feels harmonious is because it has an overarching and overall designer's eye around it, which is wallpaper's designer eye, to make sure that things do work with the way the people flow. So there is evidence that many Russian avant-garde artists um, regarded their paintings as art for, for, for the new social and uh, political order, but also for a new man that would be physically and psychologically superior to the counterparts in the past. And in 1920, Elisitsky even uh, drew and published the idea of a new man uh, as a character from uh, this opera, uh, Victory Over the Sun, uh, which might be considered as this quest uh, for, for this new eternal body, um, triumphing over death and uh, disease uh, and all of that. And so, you know that today, uh, uh, the Silicon Valley is often called the uh, Immortality Valley because all the profits, some of these biggest companies invest into the singularity and into uh, this quest for immortality. And so what is the role of artists and architects uh, in particular in, in this quest? The modern meteorization of design industries means that broadly one can see most of the things that we see here in this room eventually online. So I guess the question is, why are we all here in a room together in Milan? Um, and, and I think that comes down to the social responsibility of culture. It's, it's about bringing people together um, to, to have a conversation about, about what the future is, about what our um, uh, thoughts and ideas about art and architecture and, and these different disciplines we've been discussing. But it's also to have that conversation about kind of making sense of our time and place now together and and that's that's both a social experience and a cultural one and that's I believe what what the wallpaper handmade exhibition is is looking at through that lens and I and, and I think um, the reason that you you bring a collection of, of beautifully designed objects together in a room to bring people together